In this example, we're going to use a double area to find the area of the region that you see here. But we're going to do this uh, using two different approaches. That means we're going to have two different integral setups. Okay, but we should still be able to get the same answer. Okay, so the first one, well, the first approach will be using a vertical representative piece. Okay, so we're going to have our, okay, so we're going to have our piece like this. So that means this is going to be dx. And so that means it's going to go outside of the, it's going to go in the outer part of the integral. Okay, so in general, okay, remember that the area, okay, is the, so we're integrating over the region defined, okay, and then we have dA. So dA is just the, uh, it's going to be dx dy. So we're integrating over that region, okay. All right, so, okay, so for this setup, okay, we want dx to be on the outside, okay? And so that means we're going to have dy inside. So for dx, I'm sorry, for dy, okay? So we're using a vertical piece, vertical represent piece. So that means for that particular piece, our bounds are going to go from 0, okay? So let me write this way. So it's going to go from 0 to, okay, 1 half x. Right, because that is y. If you look here, that's y in terms of x. Okay, and then dx. Okay, this vertical piece is going from zero up to four. Okay, so that's how we set up our integral. Okay, and for this situation. Okay, so that is going to give us our area. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and solve it. All right, so we're going to integrate dy from 0 to 1 half x. So that's going to give us, so the integral of dy is y, and then we evaluate from 0 to 1 half x. So that's simply going to give us 1 half x. So now we take the integral of 1 half x from 0 to 4. Okay, and then integrate that with respect to x. So this is going to give us uh, 1 half x squared over 2. So that means we're going to get x squared over 4. Evaluate from 0 to 4, so this is going to give us 16 over 4. Okay, which gives us 4. Okay, so that is the area for this, uh, for this region. Okay. All right, so let's do it the other way, using a horizontal piece. Okay, so that means it's going this way. So that means it needs to be in terms of, right, this is going to be dy. So we want dy on the outside. Okay, so again, using the area formula, the area, the double integral for area, okay, we're going to get, okay, Okay, so we want dy on the outside, so that means we're going to have dx dy. Okay, so this time, okay, so notice the function that we have. Okay, so it was originally, we have one half, y equals one half x. So we have to write, find, or find x in terms of y. Okay, because that's going to go on the outside this time. All right. So we're going to get, okay, so for for inside, for the inside part, I'm sorry, for the inside part, we're going to go from, so it's dx, so that means it's going from, uh, from 0, okay, we want this to go from 0 to 2y, because that's what x is, x is going to be equal to 2y, so we want this to be inside. So your variable, so the, the limits of integration um, in general, for the inside part should always be um, in terms of the variable of in terms of the variable that's corresponding to the outside like for example back over here okay this was we had dx on the outside so we want this balance okay we want these to be in terms of x so over here okay we have dy on the outside 
So that means we want these inner bounds to be in terms of y, okay? And the, the, the um, limits of integration on the outside should always be constant. Like from here, it's from 0 to 4, okay? And for this one, it's going to go from, let's see, 0 to 2, okay? All right. So from zero to two, so it's going this way, and, right? It's going this direction. So zero is the minimum, and then up here we have two. Okay, so let's go ahead and evaluate this. Okay, so we're gonna get, let's first evaluate the integral from zero to two y, right? The integral of dx from zero to two y, so that's gonna give us, uh, x and then we evaluate that from two zero to two y so that's going to give us two y and then we're going to take that okay we're going to integrate two y with respect to y from zero to two okay so that's going to give us uh so the integral of two y is going to give us two y squared over two so that's going to leave us with y squared we evaluate from zero to two and you're going to get four, okay? All right, so we get the same solution, okay? So again, this will be in terms of units squared, okay? All right, and so that's how you do this problem, okay? So there's two ways, okay? So we showed the, so I showed the vertical approach, okay? And then the horizontal. So again, just keep in mind, okay? Always remember that the that if your piece is vertical, okay, it's going to be dx. That needs to be on the outside of the integral. If it's in terms, if it's a horizontal piece, you're using dy, so that has to be on the outside. Okay, in this case, for in this case, dy will be on the outside. Okay.